What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a very cool team for Regulation D. This team features Pokemon like Hisuian Typhlosion, Life Orb Garchomp, and we also got one of my brand new favorite Pokemon for Rigoraf. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But uh, before I get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Jan Colo. Thank you so much for making this team and sending it to me. And another huge shout out to you for becoming a member to the channel. Thank you so much for supporting me and sending me this team as well. But the first Pokemon is going to be Talonflame. Talonflame is great for physical attacking and for speed control. It's got Gale Wings alongside with the Cobra Cloak as its item, Rock and Tailwind, Brave Bird, Will-O-Wisp, and Taunt. In our second slot, we got Typhlosion, Hisuian Typhlosion, which is now a ghost type, which is absolutely amazing, with Frisk and the Choice Scarf to make it outspeed most Pokemon. It has Eruption, Heat Wave, Overheat, and Shadow Ball. Really love this moveset. This Pokemon is very situational on the scene, so we'll be bringing him in in certain times for him to help clean up the mess and grab some wins. We got in the third slot, like I said, one of my new favorite Pokemon for Rigoraf over here with Armor Tail and Citrus Berry. It's got Dazzling Gleam, Twin Beam for a stab psychic move, and then it's got Trick Room and Imprison, which I absolutely love. I feel like Rigoraf is just so good for going up against Trick Room teams, for countering them, and countering Pokemon with first turn priority due to his Armor Tail ability. We got Garchomp in our fourth line. I don't really think I use this Pokemon in Regulation D, so super excited to actually use this Pokemon. It's got Rough Skin with the Life Orb, with the EQ, Stomping Tantrum, Dragon Claw, and Protect. In our fifth slot, we got Regilecki, one of the fastest Pokemon in the game and still very strong in the meta. It's got Transistor with the Focus Sash as its item, with E-Web, Thunderbolt, Terror Blast with the Ice Terror type, and Protect for its fourth and final move. In our final slot, we got Amoongus. That's all you guys need to know. It is pretty standard setup with the Metal Herb and its movesets fairly normal. Great support Pokemon to fill this team all around. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, rent the code is at top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Life Orb Garchomp Regulation D team. First match is coming at you guys, and we're going up against a tough one. An Articuno alongside with a Bomb of Snow Hail team right here. Really, really tough considering we don't really have ways of changing weather. But we're going to have to get after this, and we're going to look to grab ourselves some win here. I feel as a Bomb of Snow has to die out here, especially early on. So I kind of want to lead a Pokemon like either Talonflame or even Typhlosion just to get rid of a bomb so because I would hate if they set up the Aurora Veil. Could definitely be a pain. So I think they're going to lead the Ice Combo. From here we could go in with... Regilecki's not bad. But I kind of like Typhlosion. Just with the Choice Scarf I can really hit hard, especially onto the uh, Ice type Pokemon. So I'm down with that. So I'm going to lead Typhlosion here, get Ripping with you. And on top of that, do I go in with Reggie? I could go in with Reggie. I could also go in with Garchomp. What's your terror type? It is ground. Okay, that's a little tough. That's a little tough, though. I was hoping his terror type would be a little bit better, but maybe Talonflame could be a lead. A nice, lovely lead, especially if they're going to lead physical attackers. Talonflame wouldn't be bad. Plus, I can also taunt onto the, uh, the Bomb of Snow if they do lead it. So, I like Talonflame here. So, I'm going to lead that. I'm going to bring Regilecki in the back end. And then, last but not least, let's go hyper offensive. Bring in the Garchomp and look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But yeah, this combo is actually really strong because it's so bulky. And on top of that, you're missing a lot of shots on the Articuno. And for a, another bad thing for us is we have no way of changing weather. So I wish we did have a way of changing weather, but it's all good. We're going to have to deal with it and play through it. But they, they know they can get off hail, so that's why I firmly believe that they're going to lead Articuno alongside with the Bomb of Snow. But we'll see. We shall see. I kind of hope not. It would, be, it would be a lot better for us if they don't, but I, chances are they do, right? They don't. Okay, Palafin and Urshiersh come out here. Palafin and Urshiersh. And from here, I can honestly just Gale Wings up. And is that the Dark Urshfu? No, it's got to be water, right? That's got to be water. It stands looking weird. It is the Dark Urshfu. I was correct. It is the Dark Urshfu. So from here, I'm just going to Heat Wave, to be honest. I'm going to look to get off as much damage as I can. And do I set up a Tailwind? I think I just Brave Bird into, into uh, this thing. Gotta get rid of it. I'm all about it. The Brave Bird's gonna fly. If you're not Sash, you are dead. I mean, actually, it didn't even need to be Sash. We're hoping no Sucker Punch is coming out here. And it goes for a Jet Punch instead, which we're able to soak. Can we get off this Heat Wave? We do go for Heat Wave, but who's dodging that? Eh, please KO the Urshfu. Are you kidding me? We miss a Heat Wave there, and now Wicked Blow comes through for the KO. Come on with that. Come on with that. Urshifu should be a goner. 
Urshfu should be going. So chances are Palafin's going to hard swap here, but I'm fine with that. I really don't mind that because now I can just bring in Regilecki. And I can go right into E-Web here. A nice, lovely E-Web. So I'm going to E-Web, and on top of that, I am going to go for maybe a Will-O-Wisp into the Palafin slot. And the reason being, I feel as they might swap into a physical attacker. Or they might even go into a Bomb of Snow. I feel as that might be the combo in the back end. But you know, I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to... I'm just going to Brave Bird this slot. I'll just Brave Bird this slot. They're, they're definitely going to swap the Palafin or protect it this turn. And there's the swap from the Palafin. Maybe a Sucker Punch might come out here. We'll see how he plays this one out here, but kind of hoping this is Obama still. No, it's going to be Lando. So Lando comes out here, and I knew I should have thrown a Will-O-Wisp in that slot. I was thinking that, too. That could have been a big-time Will-O-Wisp. But from here, he's just going to straight-up detect, which is kind of fine by me. They get off some nice Brave Bird damage. I can also E-Web next turn, but the problem would be... The problem would be... Uh, would be that lander's being choice scarfed. The talent flame's gonna take some recoil damage, and honestly, from here, I think I just rasalize the terror blast this thing. To be honest, I think that's I think that's a solid play for us, and then go into another brave bird just to finish off the uh, the Urshifu. So yeah, I'm gonna terrestrialize my Regilecki. Great ice typing, especially up against landers. I really do like that. Then we'll go from there. We still have Garchomp in the back end up against Palafin. Eh. It's okay, but if we can have Regilecki, that could be big time for us. So, I'm going to Terrasalize here. Nice, lovely Ice type. If I land this Terra Blast, it's four times super effective. And it'll KO Lando all day. We will say, see you later to Lando. We'll see. Kind of sucks, because Urshfu should be gone already. It really does. Sucker Punch going to fly here. Can you eat this? You don't. You simply do not. You simply do not eat this. But Regilecki should be faster than Lando. It is, and that's just going to take it out. The four times super effective. We're going to say see you later, Lando. And Urshifu is just being a problem. The Pokemon that should have been dead that dodged the Heat Wave is just being a problem right now. He's just being a problem. So from here, I'm forced to go into Garchomp. I still have my Focus Ash, which is really good. And I'm thinking of just E-Webbing whoever they throw out here. Because E-Web will KO the Urshifu. And on top of that, it can slow down the, the other Pokemon. I think they might go back out in Palafin, maybe. No, Articuno comes out here out of nowhere. Articuno, that's tough. That's tough. So I'm just going to E-Web here. And I'm just going to protect because the Ice Moves got to be coming in here. Whether it be Blizzard or something, you know of they're four times super effective. So, slight issue. Slight issue. Ice Pokemon coming out. That's why I didn't really want to bring Garchomp, but I want to be hyper offensive here because I knew we were going to need it. The Articuno is rather slow, which is good, with no first turn priority. I don't believe it's rocking Ice Shard. I don't even know if it learns Ice Shard. But I'm hoping to just hit it with this E-Web, do some big time damage. They do not have a Bomb of Snow in the back end, which is great. And I could really see some Sucker Punches coming out here. Let's see what they end up doing. I need this Urge for gone. I'm tired of dealing with it. The outcome's the Terror, right? Or is the game frozen? The game's acting a little weird. The game is acting so weird. What is going on here? This nice, nice little pause, nice little break. The game's rendering through, calculating everything. And what? Who are you, Tarantula? Yo. What? I have never seen this before. What is going on? Am I winning? They really gotta fix this. <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> Yo! Ground type? What is going on here? I'm so intrigued though. I'm so intrigued. Okay. We're back to normal. <laughs> Yo, what just happened? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I love it, though. I love it. E-Web's gonna come out of great terror type from our opponent. Really good terror type. 
really solid terror type. And let's see what Articuno ends up doing. Freeze try. Cool. So neutral turn happens after all of that. That is wild. That is honestly wild. And from here, honestly. Honestly, now I just want to go Terra Blast and. And a nice, lovely Dragon Claw into the slot. What was that? Sucker Punch going to fly here. Almost KOs this action. How much damage is this Terra Blast going to do? I don't think it's going to KO, but it should do a nice chunk of damage. It would be awesome if it does KO. Yeah, no, it does not KO. The Dragon Claw is going to fly here. It is going to finish off Urshfu, who is just being a problem here. And if he gets me with a freeze dry, it's game. Are you freeze drying me? Yeah, that's game now. That is hilarious, though. That is slayers, because they're just gonna roll in the power and they're just gonna jet punch me. Match number one is gonna go to our opponent. But yo, what was up with that animation? That is so weird. We're gonna end up losing this match number one. I'm gonna run this one, but I got you guys in the next match. We're definitely gonna win it for you guys. That is so funny though. It is so funny. How everything's just like working normal now. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. But like I said, I'm gonna run this one. Let's go hop through a second match. Look for our first victory. We're hopping into our second match for today's video. We're going up against a really cool team, Galarian Articuno on it, alongside with Cerule Edge. They got Bax Calibur, they got Storm Dream Gastron, Iron Threads, and last but not least, Iron Bundle, who is so, so good. Who potentially, they are going to lead. So how should I play this one? Who should I go into? Reggie Lecky's probably a really solid lead for us. So I'm going to end up leading this Pokemon. So I'm going to bring in the Reggie. I am going to also bring in maybe the Garchomp. Do I chomp it up here? Do I chomp it up here? Because chomp's not too bad. I kind of get down with the chompy and get after it that way. A lot of ice Pokemon, though. Well, two ice Pokemon. So maybe we want to go into a Pokemon, maybe like Talonflame Reggie. Talonflame Reggie's not bad. Typhlosion's not bad here either, especially with the Choice Scar. I kind of like Typhlosion. So I'm going to go Typhlosion here. In the back end, I am going to bring in Amoongus, I think. Amoongus Garchomp. That'd be good. I definitely want Garchomp. Even though with all the ice types, I think we should be fine, especially taking a few of these guys out. And then on top of that, we are going to go... Mm, we're going to Talonflame. I like Talonflame, especially as a back-end Pokemon. We can later set up Tailwind, help the Garchomp out a little bit, or I can just straight-up attack with Gale Wings. So, that's going to be a squad. We're locking it in. We're locking it down. Let's just grab ourselves a win here in match number two. But that last match, the animations were so funny. Like, I never experienced that before. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys experienced something like that. And uh, also, we definitely could have won that one if the Heat Wave landed on Urshfu. Urshfu was just being a problem the whole time. It really was. So they end up going into Cerule Edge alongside with Gastro. And eh, ch -ch -ch, Gastro, ch -ch, kind of a problem. I think we just protect Reggie. And I Terrasilize and I just Shadow Ball you. That's going to be my play. The reason we're going to uh, Terrasilize... Oh, you swap it. I just wasted my Terra. I just wasted my Terra. And who are you going to go into here? That's a real question. The iron chest. Okay, that's a decent change. And I'm just protecting Reggie. I think we swapped Reggie, so we kind of wasted our terror there, but I don't really mind too much. I think they do go for like an earth power in the Regilecki, more so than anything. Maybe I could double swap here if need be. It really depends on things. But I'm going to protect the Regilecki. And we'll see what they want to do here. Shadow Ball's going to cook that way. Nice lovely Shadow Ball. How much damage are we doing on this thing? Nice little half. Nice little half. And Yawn's gonna come out here. Onto Reggie. Okay. So I could keep Reggie on the field, but I don't really think I do. I think I swap it for potentially Talonflame here, right? Talonflame could be a good swap, especially if ground moves are coming out here. I'm all about Talonflame. So I'm gonna go Talonflame here. I'm gonna stick with my Shadow Ball. I'm just gonna throw it into this slot. And get it for the Iron Treads a little bit more. I'm gonna go in Talonflame. A little bit of Talonflame. Save the Reggie for later because Reggie's just so good. And I might end up hard swapping uh, Typhlosion maybe next turn, depending on how this plays out. Shadow Ball's gonna come out here. Can you finish off the Iron Treads for me? Thank you very much. Big time KO coming out for the Typhlosion. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. He goes for an Earth Power, and of course it's into that slot. He's just gonna dump on me. Okay. Get a crit too. Come on, man. Stop with the crits. Stop with the crits. A little annoying. A little annoying. But they read the swap or they just didn't want to go on the Regilecki, which was smart. And from here, now I can just go on the Garchomp. And I can freely EQ from here. Definitely freely EQ. Especially if they go into like a Pokemon like Cerule Edge. 
that'd be fine. I'm just gonna go into the Garchomp, send some EQs left and right. I could Tailwind, depending on who they go into, because right now we have speed on them. It's gonna be Cerule Edge. So I think Garchomp does outspeed Cerule Edge. Let me check its speed. Yeah, you definitely do. And from here, I believe we just go Brave Bird into the slot, and on top of that, we just EQ. Because a lot of the uh, Terror types for Cerule Edges are Grass. And no, he's just gonna... It's fine. He's just gonna stay in here like that. He's just gonna let his Cerule Edge die out. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. I kind of wish I, I knew they weren't Terrasalizing. That's why I Brave Bird into that slot. <laughs> but that's fine. We get rid of Cerule Edge. He's a goner. He's a goner. And now Gastro's gonna go for the Ice Beam. So Garchomp's gone. Oh, he survives! We love that. No freeze? No freeze. Cool. So we survived. That's big time. That's a big time survive turn right there. You ate up an... I've never seen that. You ate up an Ice Beam? We love you. So he goes into his final Pokemon. It is gonna be the Deli Deli Bird. Uh... Mmm. Little... Little issue. Little slight issue. Um... I definitely want to try to get off a Tailwind for the rest of the squad. So I'm going to Tailwind. I am going to protect Chomp. And we're going to go from there. Are definitely going to go from there. Please do not KO my Talon Flame. Leave my Talon Flame alone. I want this Tailwind out. We definitely need this Tailwind out. But Terra Types going to come out here probably from the Deli Bird. This Pokemon's always a struggle. I still have Reggie in the back, which is good. And it's going to be a Flying Terra Type. Okay, cool. So, good Terra Type if we were going to go into EQ, but we're just protecting this turn. So we'll see how this one plays out here. Maybe an Icy Wind? You never know. Like I said, I kind of just need Tail when a Freeze Strike comes out here. Oh my lord, I'm dead. I eat. I eat somehow. Cool. I thought I would die to that. Good thing I'm part fire. So we get off the Tail and that's actually really big for us. And Yawn's going to come out here. You're yawning? Why wouldn't you just Ice Beam me? That's fine, because now we got some speed. Now we're cooking a little bit. I'm not too worried about that, uh... I'm not too worried about that Deli Bird considering we have Regilecki in the back end. I'm more so worried about this thing. So I'm going to start... I'm just going to double down into... Into Gastro here. I'm going to stick with my EQs. I'm doubling down to Gastro. I need to get rid of Gastro. Like I said, I have Regilecki in the back end with Focus Ash. This thing needs to go. This thing needs to go. Can EQ KO? EQ, show me that you're going to KO. Show me that you're KO. I need his Gastro gone. Let's go. That's a big time KO. So, chances are he's going to take out one of my Pokemon here with a freeze dry. Or maybe just go for an Icy Wind. Oh, but I die out to Orb damage. Not the Orb doing me so dirty. Not the Orb doing me like that. The freeze dry is going to fly here. So, again, like I said, we still have Regilecki in the back end, which was a great swap for us. We got it in here for later. And I get to bring it back out of here. Good part about this thing is, is we have Focus Ash. So from here, I am just simply going to E-Web turn 1, because if it does get out of Tailwind, like say it protects maybe a turn, because we should have two turns, yeah. Say it protects a turn and gets out of Tailwind, if I slow it down, we can definitely outspeed it later, because I know it's booster energy speed. So I'm going to E-Web turn 1 here, he's going to protect one of them, please do not go for a double protect and land it. If they land a double protect, that's like one of the only ways we lose this match, which would really suck, dude. That would suck. So he ends up protecting this, this uh, first turn, and now I'm just going to go into the E-Web. There's no way he's double protecting here. All right, cool. They do not double protect. So Eweb's gonna fly here and just one shot. Cool. I wasn't even expecting it to KO. I was playing it safe, but Eweb takes it out one shot, no problem. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. We should, uh, we uh, save our Reg Likey for the back end and grab ourselves from in here in match number two. Hopping into our final match for today's video. We're going up against a Grand Ninja team. We're sitting one on one, so hopefully we get to grab ourselves a win here. But we're going up against some tough Pokemon. Dragonite, Shen Pao, always problem. Corviknight, a very strong Pokemon, alongside with Regilecki and Pelipper for weather control. I don't really see them bringing out Pelipper, maybe for the Grand Ninja's sake, but chances are not. But I'm going to bring Typhlosion in the back end. Going to be good up against the Corviknight and the Shen Pao. And then on top of that, who do I lead though? Who is Jeans going to lead? Um, Garchomp's okay. For Rigoraph's not bad. I think for Rigoraph and Regilecki he could be really good for us. Especially to stop first in priority if they want to lead Pokemon like Dragonite and Shen Pao. So I'm going to lead both of them. And then Typhlosion in back end. And I'm going hyper offensive. Bring me the Garchomp. Lock it in. Lock it down. Let's do this thing. Let's grab ourselves a winner in match number three. Look for that lovely winning record. It's always fun to grab yourselves like a winning record, especially with off-meta teams. Always so good.
But I feel like we've been going up against some a few off meta Pokemon in today's video, which is pretty cool. Especially like Greninja, so I kind of hope that they bring out Greninja here. So let's see who the lead is. It's going to be Greninja and Pelipper, I did not think that. But Regilek is out here first, which is big time. Which is big, big time. We got the Sash on that. Um, I think we might just pop a Trick Room here. Actually, no, we're not going to pop a Trick Room. I'm just going to Gleam. I'm just going to Gleam, and I'm just going to E-Web cross the board. E-Web into lovely little Dazzling Gleam. I like this lead. I really do like this lead. I might want to save Frigraph for later, but he's going to help in hand here. Just kind of scary. You're scaring me. No Terror, though. No Water Shrekin's going to come out here. Can't do that. I got Armor Tail. Yeah! Yeah! Great lead for us. E-Web flying. Pelipper, see you later. Grand Ninja, minus speed. Almost see you later. Hot start for us in near match number three. I got you guys. I got you guys with this winning record. Got you guys. Grand Ninja's a goner. Are we going to see a console turn off? I can definitely see a console turn off. This might be a one turn game. Because they have Shen Pao Dragonite in the back end, this was the exact lead that I wanted to lead to kind of counter that. So we could be sitting in such a good position. A really good position. Is it going to be Shen Pao Dragonite? It is. I think I'm going to pop a Trick Room now. Just for later purposes. And I don't know if I Terrastalize my Reggie here. I mean, they can't first turn priority me, so... I might just go Gleam into E-Web. Do I slow him down? Or Terror Blast or Thunderbolt? I think we just go after you. Because who do I have in the back end to kind of deal with some of these things? I mean, we have you in the rain. Eh. I mean, Choice Scarf's going to be good. You can't be hit by E-Speed, which is good. But you can get hit by Sucker Punch. So, you know what? Yeah, we're just going to double down into Shen Pao here. So I think Dragonite might even Terrastalize, right? I think he might. It is Dragonite. So, good thing I did not Ice Terror Blast and that thing. He's just going to go into the normal. You can't first turn priority move me, which is huge. Love the Furograph for this purpose. And this is why I brought it in here. Let's see what they end up doing here. Protecting the Shen Pao, the one thing I didn't want happening. But it's good to know that Regilecki's going to outspeed all these guys. And I don't think he can KO for a grab, so that's good. So I'm going to hit this uh, Dazzling Gleam. Let's see what Dragon ends up going for. Maybe a stopping tension. An Outrage. Outrage coming in. I am sashed up. I got that lovely little sash on me. Got the sash, baby. We sashing up. And now I'm going straight for Shen Pao. I want that thing going. I want it out of here. Good thing we do get off on multi skill here, so we'll take off the multi skill on Dragonite, get a little bit of value out of the turn, and then I just go for another Dazzle Gleam. I'm going for another Thunderbolt. Regilek is going first here. Bang, bang, big time damage. We love it, we love it. And Ice Spinner's gonna come across here to KO my Regilek. So Reggie goes down here. For Rigoraf, you should be able to eat up an Outrage. Please tell me eat up an Outrage just so I can land this Dazzle Gleam and finish off Shen Pao. You should be able to eat this up. You have 227 HP and you're dying to that. I need it here. This thing's confused now. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, I got Garchomp. Oh. I got Garchomp. I do have Typhlosion with a choice. I think I just Terrastalize uh, Typhlosion here. I think I Terrastalize and do I go in the Heat Wave? Oh no. Don't tell me we're gonna lose this match. Let me let, let me think a little bit. I think I just protect you, right? I think I just protect Chomp. And I terrestrialize you and go into a heat wave. This heat wave will still KO Shen Pao, yeah. I know it's raining now, but I'm I'm looking to just get off some damage. Dragonite's confused here, which is good, but I do believe the ice spinner to come after the guard chomp. I need the Shen Pao gone. Oh, we really died to that outreach. Full HP. I'm a goner. Now we got a match, man. Now we got a match. I just need a Ferrigraph just to be out on the field. Maybe I should have just protected it, but. Really wanted that KO. Let me terrestrialize you. Protect comes out from there. Could be going for a Sucker Punch, but we should be able to eat up a Sucker Punch. He's choice into outrage. Heat wave's gonna fly here. Can you who who dodged that? Don't tell me Chen Pao dodged that. Do not tell me my Typhlosion losing me two matches today. I 
I should just shadow ball. Hate yourself, confusion, please. And thank you. I don't know what to tell you guys today. Should I have just shadow ball and played it super, super safe? I, I don't know. We're, we're going to lose two matches due to missed heat waves from Typhlosion today. I feel as we played pretty good. He ends up going for Ice Shard. And yeah, we just die out to that. That, oh my god, that hurts so much. It really does. It really does hurt so much. So we're going to lose two matches due to missed heat waves. Tough set of matches. We still go one and two. I give you guys some good content. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Showcase this team really well, but RNG do me dirty, so heart's hurting a little bit. It's all good. We got one, two for today's video. Get the use Typhlosion up and upset with them. Just upset with the heat wave misses doing me dirty today. It's a rough one. It definitely is a rough one. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.